Good morning and welcome to day 17 of our 21 day prayer and fasting. We're talking about prayer. In Matthew chapter 6, uh, Jesus talks about prayer to his disciples after they asked him, teach us to pray. I'm reading from message version and it's a um, um, it's um, uh, you know this translation kind of uh, teaches us few things that uh, that's why I picked up this version. Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 6 verses 5. When you come to when you come before God don't turn that into a theatrical production either all these people making a regular show out of their prayers hoping for stardom do you think God sits in a in a box seat here's what i want you to do find a quiet secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before God just be there as simply and as honestly as you can manage the focus will shift from you to god and you will begin to sense his grace the world is full of so called prayer warriors who are actually prayer ignorant they're full of formulas and programs and advice peddling techniques for getting what you want from god don't fall for that nonsense this is what your father uh, this is this this is your father you're dealing with and he knows better than you what you need with a god like this loving you you can pray very simply um according to jesus the process of prayer does not involve attention grabbing dramas or words or show long winding formulas or programs or techniques according to jesus the process of prayer does not involve uh, all those things it involves the real condition you are in the real you is the true process through which you can pray and receive the desired results simple unassuming and dependent self of a person is the true process of prayer there are at least few five prerequisites um, pertaining our self in the process of prayer i want to lay them down to you today and tomorrow The first one is this the first prerequisite is this you must have an honest relationship with God John chapter 15 verses 7 says this where Jesus says if you remain in me and my words in you remain in you you can ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you that's a beautiful promise but in scripture every promise is accompanied by a condition an easy way to remember it is that every promise has a premise the promise here is whatever you ask whatever you wish i will give you whatever you ask uh, in prayer i will give you but the condition is you must remain in me if you remain in me so how do i remain in christ well the next sentence tells us if uh, my words remain in you when christ's words remain in you uh, when you saturate our when we saturate our lives with the scripture the word of god then we will be abiding in christ god requires that we listen to him first before he listens to us god says he who turns away his ear from listening to the law even his prayer is an abomination proverbs chapter 28 verses 9 so if you don't pay attention to what god says then why should he pay attention to you uh, when you talk to him the starting point to have an honest relationship with god uh, is um, um is is described in john in the first letter of john to the church in 1 john chapter at least three um three questions if you can ask yourself and evaluate your life that would actually help you to have an honest relationship with him the the first thing that you would see in 1 john chapter 1 verses 7 to 9 if we say we have no sin we are only fooling ourselves and refusing to accept the truth if we claim we have not sinned we are calling god a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts so here is the first thing first question for you to reflect on in order to have a ref- re- honest relationship with god is this am i willing to admit things that i have done wrong in the past i must be willing to, in other words i must be willing to acknowledge and accept responsibility for my sins 
it may be an action it may be an attitude it may be a habit it may be uh, words that you used uh, language that you speak um when we go on our own way and do our own thing it breaks the connection between us and god when we try to cover up those things that we know we are uh, that are wrong then that honest relationship with god is broken psalm 66 verse 18 says this if i regard or cherish or try to hide the sin in my heart the lord will not hear unconfessed sin ruins our relationship with god in isaiah chapter 52 verse 9 um, the prophet says this that god is unable to hear our our uh, cries for help or prayers because the sin that is separating because of our sin that is separating us from him solomon actually says this uh, he who tries to conceal his sins cannot prosper but he who admits them and confesses them forsakes them then he will have mercy god says if we confess our sins um he is faithful and just and will forgive us of all our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness so what is confession confession is simply being honest with god coming to him and declaring who you are and what you have done um against him all uh, you know when we go and confess then god cleanses us from all unrighteousness that's the beginning of a good honest relationship with god that's number one there's a second question that you need to think about am i currently ignoring any of god's promises in my life um in other words when god tells me to do something when i know i'm holding on to something that god wants me to let go of and i continue to hold on to it that breaks the prayer chain the connection with god listen to john again 1 john chapter 3 verses 21 and 22 dear friends if our hearts do not condemn us we have confidence before god and we receive from him anything we ask that's a promise now there is a condition because we obey his commands and do what he what pleases him this is his command to believe in the name of his son jesus christ and to love one another as he has commanded us so the, here is the second connection the first sin uh, confession confession of a sin builds a honest relationship number two obedience to his will builds an honest relationship with him god doesn't ex- of course god doesn't expect perfection in our actions but he does expect us to obey him so we ask uh, am i hiding something from god in my relationship am i doing what he wants me to do at this point of my life that's the second thing you need to ask yourself there's a third question that you need to ask yourself do i really want god's will for my life um 1 john again chapter 5 verses 14 and 15 says this we can be confident that he will listen to us whenever we ask him anything in line with his will and we know he is listening when we make our requests we can be sure that he will give us what we ask for sin confession the confession of sin builds an honest relationship makes god hear our prayers number 2 obedience to his will makes god to hear our prayers our prayers reach god number 3 doing his will in our lives in every aspect of our lives being in the center of his will uh, builds an honest relationship with him so when we ask according to god's will then we have confidence in our prayer and we know god is going to answer it most christians make big mistake in their prayers um they go around constantly saying god is it your will that i ask for this for every little item the real issue the real issue is not god what is your will regarding this specific circumstance the real issue is am i in god's will as a person that's a real issue if my life is in harmony with god then my desires are going to be in harmony with god think about that augustine saint augustine once said like this love god and do as you please i mean that's an interesting statement love god and do as you please why did he say that because if we really love god with all our heart 
then we are not going to want to do things that displease God. So you live your life in, if you live your life in God's will um, and say, to the best of my knowledge, I'm trying to do what is right, Lord, I want to live in your will. Um, then it's fairly simple that God, your desires, your wish, your prayers are going to be according to God's will. So obviously everything that you ask will be done. So how do you know if you really want God's will for your life? It's fairly simple. How eager are you to read the scriptures? The only way you can know the will of God is by reading the word of God. Um, God's word tells you God's will. If you have a desire to read it, study it, then meditate on it, obey it, then obviously you want you would know what God's will is. Uh, so the first condition to an answered prayer, in other words, is, is this that we must have an honest relationship with God. Um, an honest relationship is be built by confession of our sins. Honest relationship is built by obedience to his word. An honest relationship is built by staying in the center of God's will for in our lives. Are you in the will of God? Are you in the center of God's will for your life? Do you have an honest relationship with God? Maybe that's the question you need to reflect on today and ask yourself, um, am I being honest in, in my confession? Am I being a person who is obeying His will? Am I being a person who um, constantly chooses to stay in the will of God to, you know, my love for Him? Think about it today and seek for His will. Stay, stay in His will. God bless you.